Hi Pisces, let's do your daily reading and find out what messages spirits have for you today. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, Pisces, let's find out what's going on. Three of Swords. This is pain, heartbreak. We have the Seven of Wands, standing your ground, not backing down from something. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Move these up. Then we have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. The Three of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. Okay. We have the Sun here. The, the Sun is healing. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot. And I'm seeing you here being represented by the queen of wands. So you're in a very fiery energy, Pisces, of the queen of wands. You're not taking no for an answer, fighting for what you want. And what we have here is the hierophant. So this could be something spiritual that you're doing. But this is a higher level of commitment with the Hierophant. Let's clarify your cards and find out what's going on. We're going to clarify that Three of Swords. Okay, one more shuffle. Pisces with spirits. Why is the Three of Swords here? Okay, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, and the world. Four of Swords. There's sadness showing up here in your energy Pisces but I see healing with the star card I'm seeing a cycle in your life completely closing out and you're you're going to be walking down a new path the world is here you're making a decision see there's a lot of pain a lot of heartbreak here but you're making a decision with the King of Swords. This is making a decision, making, um, being very wise, smart in your head about what you want. And the world is here next to the Four of Swords. So there's a lot of contemplation, a lot of thinking. You could be needing to rest a lot right now, but, um, there's a cycle that is completely ending. You're choosing to let this completely end. And then we have the Seven of Wands. So as you're 
going into this new cycle, I'm seeing you. It's like you're you're on guard here about what you're putting into your new world. Why is the seven of wands here? Ten of swords. The ace of wands and the knight of swords. Why is the knight of swords here? The moon. The knight of swords is you. You've, you're having an epiphany moment, Pisces. Everything's becoming very clear to you with the Ace of Swords. And you're... This Knight of Swords, like I told you, this is you. You're on defense, on guard. Defending what is yours. Defending yourself. And being very careful what you're putting into this new world, because we have the world. It's a brand new beginning here, something exciting. It's coming out of the Ten of Swords. This is pain, heartbreak, and ending, something ending very painfully. And a brand new beginning for you. I see here again with the Ace of Wands, some exciting news. But after the tens in tarot, this is an ending, and the ace is a brand new beginning. So you've had to contemplate and um, rest, heal from sadness. And now you're walking into the unknown. And then we have the king of wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Okay, so this is someone new coming into your life. You're definitely getting some clarity here, Pisces. The hangman is here. This is your energy at the bottom of the deck. Um, you've definitely had to stop, take a rest, take a break, and get clarity in your mind and look at things differently because things are not the same anymore as they were. This... Seven of Cups here, this is confusion, but the Ace of Swords is you, you have a crown on your head, so you're gaining complete clarity of mind over a confusing place where you've been. And this is success, victory. You are um, recognizing all of the options in front of you. And choosing a new option. Again, this is another ace. So this is a brand new beginning. And there's a lot of different options in front of you here. There's two people coming towards you. We have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And I feel like this is two different people. The Page of Cups is good news. It's uh, I mean, the Page of Pentacles here, it's good news. It's a message that you'll be receiving. And the Knight of Cups is someone coming towards you with an emotional message. Why is the Knight of Cups here? It could be dealing with the Leo strength is here. Yeah, the emperor is here. So this is also the emperor is right here too. So there is someone coming towards you here with a lot of passion. It's a very, this is someone who's very, very much in control of their life. 
but they have this young, fun energy about them. But it's someone who's in control of their life. This is someone that could be at a distance from you. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? I'm feeling like this Page of Pentacles could have something to do with your work. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? We'll find out more about this. Yeah, this has something to do with your work. We have the, the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so... There's something here that you're working on. You could be opening up your own business, which I keep seeing for Pisces. And there's good news coming in as far as your work goes here. But there's also someone showing up here with a lot of passion for you. Why is the emperor here? See, the, look at that, Pisces. To clarify the emperor up here, we have strength. And now this is this person coming towards you with a lot of passion. And we have strength clarifying this emperor right here too. Tell us about this emperor spirits. The world. The sun and the three of pentacles. So... I have the Ace of Swords again here on the bottom of the deck. You'll be getting communication from someone. This person could be a Leo. We have the Sun and the Strength card here. Strong Leo energy. But it doesn't have to be. But there's someone here that is. The emperor is the father of the tarot. So this is like a father figure, someone who's, this could be someone older than you, but it's someone who's very in control of their life and their what's going on around them. This person could be wanting to work with you, collaborate with you, build with you. Because we have the three of pentacles. And it's someone that could be at a distance from you, traveling towards you. They could be um, I'm feeling like maybe even in a different country for someone. But the strength card is here. So you've been through a lot and the sun is here and you can see everything clearly now, Pisces. It is the happiest card in the tarot. So there's something here that has to do with your work, something that you're working on where you're going to be very happy. And then we have the three of wands. So I feel like this is, this is a new ship that's coming in. Why is the three of wands here? Ten of wands. The moon. I feel like there's, there's something here that you need to take control of, Pisces, in your life. Because there's a struggle here. There's an energy of a struggle. And... It's like you can't see clearly to get past this, these burdens and this struggle. So you need to take control. But I, I'm seeing you here waiting for something to come in. So there's hope. There's you turning your back on the past. You're waiting for this new ship to arrive that's going to help you. But what you don't see is these burdens that you've had to carry on your back that is making it very difficult for you to see in front of you. You can hardly raise up your head to see in front of you um, are going to be dropped from you very soon. This is out of 10. 
It's something you're determined to carry that you can't let down right now. But being at a 10, it's going to be dropped very soon. With the moon card, this is what you don't see. And this is you crossing over the finish line. Victory after a long battle, crossing over the finish line. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So there's definitely an ending here. We have the Ten of Swords up here too. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Hierophant. The Tower. And the King of Cups. There's something here that you're not expecting to happen, Pisces. This King of Cups, um, you could have another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio around you in your energy. But I'm definitely feeling like this King of Cups is you. And with the Ten of Swords, there's... There's a, an ending here. Something is going to shock you. You're not expecting this. Some type of news causes an ending. Something here is not built on a stable foundation, so it's going to end. The tower is coming down to end something in your life. And I'm seeing you here staying in control of your emotions. And... Um, sticking to something that you're committed to you could be trying to learn something teach something but there's a higher level of commitment even though everything is falling down around you but there's something something about this tower that i like this was um this is something that is meant to be it's something that you cannot control something that has to fall down to give you this Ten of Pentacles. This is what everyone wants. This is um, this is your legacy, Ten of Pentacles. So this is a good tower that's coming, um, tearing everything down so that you can go on your journey here, what was meant to be for you. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Justice. Why is Justice here? I am loving this, Pisces. There's something about your work, something that you're doing here where you're building a legacy for yourself. We have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And this is going to shock you with the tower showing up. This is unexpected money. This is something unexpected, something that you're not seeing. This could be a new home. But this is, this is justice showing up here. There's someone here that's watching you, which I'm going to clarify this energy in a minute. But this is your justice. This is your karma. Because you've been a very, very loving, giving, kind person. You keep ending up in these difficult situations. And <clears throat> it's your time now. It's your turn. You 
something here I see you celebrating because karma's here. There could be a legal matter or something going in your favor. Something that you will be celebrating with the Four of Wands. Somebody like a spy. Why is the Page of Swords here? Yeah, someone's regretting. Someone's regretting choosing someone else over you. See this person that there's someone here that chose new love and this new love is not exactly working out for this person. You can see them down on their knees here feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret and they're watching you. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, there's someone here that chose a third party and they're not happy where they're at, Pisces, and they are coming back to you, but they're showing up as the Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone coming back to you very, very slowly, but you are in the energy of the Knight of Swords where... You have a job to get done. You're thinking about what you need to accomplish in your life. And whoever this person is, you're, you're not in an energy. You're in your mind. You're not in an energy where you're playing games with anyone anymore. See, you've been put into a position where you've had to look at things differently now and stand up for yourself with the Five of Swords. I keep seeing you holding up swords here because there's been betrayals and pain in your life. And so you're not being a fool anymore. You're looking at things differently now. You're not just giving this cup of love to anybody and jumping into something right away. You're definitely in a hangman energy where you're looking at things differently. And you're protecting yourself. You're guarded up. And then we have the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. The death is on the bottom of the deck. Um... There's someone here, I keep seeing it over and over again, sorry for repeating myself, but there's someone here that was juggling, someone chose a new path, they could have ghosted you. But this person sees you as their empress, this could be a Taurus too, they're very attracted to you. And again, I'm seeing this person here. It came out again where this person's watching you. But this is someone who's feeling stuck. They're not taking action. 
but this person wants a reconciliation with you. This could be temp. I mean, this could be a Sagittarius too. Why do they say, I feel like they're watching you. They're drinking. Let's find out more. Tell us more spirits. There's the Empress again. They're feeling stuck and they are in hermit mode. This could be a Virgo. Why is the Empress here? Okay, so this person um, is in hermit mode. They're not making a decision. They're not moving. But something's going to happen in divine timing with the Wheel of Fortune here. I'm seeing something happening in divine timing. And what I see happening is this person contemplating. And um, I feel like this person just left. And they're coming back around again. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, this person is in a stuck position right now. Hi, Mystic. They're in a stuck, confused, sad position right now they're feeling i feel like this person feels very vulnerable i missed it okay so let's see what this person wants to say to you pisces there's somebody here thinking about you. Well, whoever the person is on your mind right now, let's find out what they want to say. Because I really see this person coming in when you're least expecting it. Okay. If you're dealing with another Pisces, or this could just be your energy, this is Pisces energy. I was careless with you. Cancer. I want to feel that way again. Scorpio. I am becoming a better person. Drawing this. Aries, I feel you leaving me behind. Leo, leaving you hurts me too. Sagittarius, I lost myself for a little while. Aquarius, I hide behind material things. Libra, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Gemini, I want to be more than friends. Taurus, I took the easy way out. Virgo, we are not right for each other. The timing just wasn't right for us, and I never want to feel that way again. Capricorn, I left you before you could leave me. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I never used to look at you in that way. Okay, and then let me get your monology cards for advice, Pisces.
advice for Pisces spirits. We have bring love into the situation. A personal issue reaches a resolution. And the energy is gaining momentum. And on the bottom of the deck, don't let your past hold you back. Okay, Pisces. So these are the messages spirits have for you today. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful comments and being here with me, Pisces. And I send you lots of love and light. Namaste.